What do you want to do? What's up, guys? So, I just watched a Game Theory episode that just came out yesterday. And it was it's called do motion controls ruin gameplay and it's but it's with reggie from nintendo the basically the i think it's the ceo i'm not sure no he's a he's he's a guy from nintendo anyways and my wife is right there but she doesn't want to be in the video so stop filming me anyways as you can see we're big fans of nintendo and stop. And my wife is also playing her DS. So, we, I have been a fan of Nintendo since God knows how long. I'm 24 years old, and I've been playing Nintendo since I could pick up a NES controller. And I, I've always liked the fact that Nintendo cares more about the game than they do about the money. Granted, a lot... A lot, they are still a company, and they do still care about the money, but they care more about the player than they do about the money. So that is something that I, I severely, severely respect about them. And they've always been able to keep the games that they keep, they come out with fresh and new. Even when they come out with a, with a rehash of, a same, of the same game. When they came out with Alpha Sapphire, they were able to they were able to update the graphics and even update some of the gameplay. So that was so that you weren't just playing a, a carbon copy of Red and Blue. When they came out with Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time on the DS, they were they you were still playing the same game, but you were playing it in a new fashion, in a new way, so that it was still new and a new and fun. So, and I've played. I haven't played Alpha Sapphire, but I've played the I've played Ocar the new Ocarina of Time, and I ha granted I haven't played a lot of the new the new Pokemon games, but my wife has, and she told me how they how they work and how they play, and she likes them, and she, and honestly I'm glad I, from what she's told me I'm glad that the of what they've done. I'm not an RPG player, but I am a Pokemon player, and I do like Pokemon. Granted. I'm more of a PS4 player now, and I'm more of a console player. But I do like playing. Th I do like playing through these games. They're a part of my childhood that will never die. And if this sounds scripted, it's really not. But that being, Wait, go down the hole, goddamn it! Not our kid. He's sleeping. Anyways, I, and that's that's another thing. These games have been a part of our, our lives so much. I was able. I was. I named my kid after a, a, a Nintendo character. I'm not even kidding. His name is Link. So that being said, coming back to the fact of motion controls, I do like. The, I was excited when the Wii came out. I was very excited, even even when it it showed a few glitches. I wasn't too, I wasn't too happy with battery life and there were a few things that I didn't like especially when Z Skyward Sword came out I wasn't too happy about that but there were bits and pieces about it that I did like there were things about it that were really fun and really new and that mostly had to do with the motion controls so that being said I agree with both sides on this on this if you if you haven't watched the series, I'm gonna put a link in the description and so you guys can watch it. I agree with both sides to a degree. I like the old school the old school D pad and A and B buttons. I like the the old school I like the old school feel, but at the same time I think that motion control has its place in Nintendo. I believe that it has its place in these games. I believe that it can put that I can Make fr make games fresh, and it can make it make things cool. Make things that that we want to play, and I really I really do enjoy w playing some of these things. So, do I hate motion controls? Yes and no. I don't. It depends on how it does. It it it, 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 depl it depends on how you implement them, and it dep it depends on the gameplay. And exactly what kind of game is being played with them. 
it was it was put to use well with with games like Red Steel, but not so much with things like Resident Evil. For those of you who don't know those games, check them out. They're actually, well, Red Steel at least. It was actually a decent game. But coming back to The Legend of Zelda, I did. There were bits and pieces of of Skyward Sword that I liked. And there are bits and pieces of other games that I liked with the with the regular controls. So, final final summation of this little vlog here. I think that they both have their merits. Uh, motion control has its merits in the Zelda series, and the regular controls have their have their merits in the Zelda series. So. I'm kind of still in the deadlock. I can't really say that one is better than the other. So, therefore, it's a, t it's a tie, and I can't think of a tiebreaker. Sorry, guys. That's that's my thought. On, that's my thought. That's the guy. That's the thought from a guy who's been playing Nintendo since the beginning. Well, not the beginning, beginning, but you know what I mean. So, Aha! there it is. I did a thing. And my wife did the thing, I guess. Anyways, um... Sorry, I am, like, way out of practice in this game. Yes. Anyways, I am going to upload this and see what you guys have to say. What do you think... Do you think I'm right, or do you think... Or do you guys take sides? Post in the comments, and again, watch the video. Uh, Matt Pat makes great arguments, and so does Reggie, so... I'm going to post, like I said, I'm going to post a link to the video in the description and um, subscribe to Game 3, I guess, because they actually have really, really cool videos and I've been watching a lot of them lately. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace. I was going to think about